Good morning, dear brothers and sisters of Good Neighbor Christian Fellowship, as well as our relatives, our friends and classmates, both here in our country, the Philippines, and other countries, just like in Canada, in the United States, in Australia, in Singapore, and uh, in the United Kingdom, and the Middle East also. I would like to, before we pray, I would like to again express the gratitude of Good Neighbor Christian Fellowship for all of you who continue to join us in our Sunday praise and worship service online. And with this, I would like to have a prayer with you. Shall we all bow our heads and close our eyes? Dear Heavenly Father, we continue to look and lift our eyes to you. And thank you and praise you and express our gratitude for you are our loving God, a compassionate God, a forgiving God. We thank you, Lord, that this last Sunday of August, again, in the comfort of our homes, we can unite our hearts, our minds, our spirit, in our worship to you today. We pray, Lord, again and again that you forgive us, Lord, and cleanse us from our sins and righteousness for all the things that we have done that did not please you. And we thank you, Lord, for this another day of life that you gave us that we can witness your grace and your power around us. Lord, as we come together, help us, Lord, through the Holy Spirit to concentrate our minds and our hearts to you. Even as we offer you our songs and as we listen to your message to be given again by Pastor Ted Rico. May your words Continue to inspire us. Continue to change us to the kind of Christian you want us to be. Obedient, faithful, trusting. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Again, uh, in your screen, you will find the names of our brothers, sisters, and friends who are celebrating their birthday, or who celebrated their birthday this week. And uh, as again, uh, we extend our heartfelt wish of happy birthday and sincere prayer that God will continue to shower you with His abundant blessings. He is faithful and expect from us nothing but being faithful also to Him. And uh, this uh, Sunday, let me remind you again of our weekly ministry activities. It's on the screen. Na wa ay makandalo tayo sa isa o dalawang gawain ng ating iglesia. It's important. It's uh, something that those who are involved will, be, will make them happy na kayo ay makasama. Sa mga gawain. Also, on Sunday, September 5, yung po ating communion Sunday. So, please, <coughs> excuse me, be ready with your communion elements. Grape juice, piece of biscuit, slice of bread, at uh, muli tayong pangungulahan ni Pastor Rigo after this message sa ating communion. Alam po naman natin na ito ay isang uh, gawain na pinapahalagahan ng lahat ng Christian churches. Even our church, kahit na tayo online, we keep on observing what Christ has commanded His disciples just as He is commanding us that we hold this communion uh, to remember the love of God, to remember His love, to remember His sacrifice, to remember His death 
for the sins of the world so that you and I, all of us, will be set free from the bondage of sin because of the death of Christ and because we accepted him as our Lord and our Savior. Also, on uh, Sunday is our Tithe and Pledge Month. Salamat po at tuloy sa inyong pag-support uh, sa financial uh, need and church. Even as we continue to extend our support to our deserving members and friends, uh, especially during this time of pandemic. Ngayon ay uh, huling linggo para sa pag-aaral natin ng ating topic na maintain or maintaining a robust Christian life. I hope you have memorized our topic verse which is in Colossians chapter 2 verses 6 and 7. Tulad po na sinabi ni Pastor Bibo last Sunday, kaya po tayo merong monthly topic para po ating nababasa, ating naunawaan, ating na sasaulo. Kaya po yan, nasa screen, and I want you to say this verse with me. Sabay-sabay po tayo. Colossians 2, 6 and 7. Just as you receive Christ Jesus, continue to live your lives in Him. Rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and always abounding in thankfulness. Colossians 2, 6, and 7. Again, personalize it. Share your name and quote the verse. Just like Mando, just as you have received Christ Jesus. So, yung mga pangalan nyo, sabihin nyo, and then call the verse. Para po, talagang maramdaman natin na ito sinasabi sa atin ng God through the teaching of Paul in Colossians 2, 6 and 7. Our topic, maintaining a robust Christian life. And yan din po sa screen, yung apat na steps towards this end. Next Sunday, Tulad po rin ng aking in-announce noong nakaraang linggo, our topic for September and is understanding the mission of God. Tatlo po yan sa screen. Proclaiming the word, teaching the word, serving the community. And Pastor Ibo will dwell on this. And most likely by October, our topic will be pursuing, no? This month that for September is understanding, for October is pursuing practical steps on how to accomplish these three missions of God, missions of the church, uh, especially sa atin pong church, a good neighbor Christian fellowship. I hope that uh, this will steer your uh, interest and uh, will make a decision that you will not miss all the Sundays that we will have in September. Again, be ready with your, what, ball pen, notebook, and your Bible. Uh, consider our online service na parang we are in person-to-person -person worship in the church. Itong ating ginagawa, ay ito yung major part ng ating gawain paglinggo uh, during the pre-pandemic time. So sa inyo lahat, magandang umaga, pagpalain tayo ng Diyos, ang ating buhay, ang ating sambahayan, ang ating kabuhayan, ang ating kalusugan. Amen and Amen.